Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chris and today I am here with a bit of a different video. If you haven't been watching a couple of my videos um, or if my recent act or if you've been keeping up with my recent activity, I've been streaming a uh, quite a bit more and one of the games that I've been streaming a lot more recently is Genshin Impact and for the longest time I was like a free to play character. Basically, I just didn't spend any money on the game outside of maybe as of recently I would battle pass and the these like little things that you get every month is like five dollars and it gives you stuff like every day so in terms of the free to play aspect I didn't spend money specifically for polls that did change a little bit recently a, like a few updates ago, I believe through the 3.1 update was my first update where I decided that I would, you know, spend a little bit of money to do polls on the game. But for now, uh, I have a bunch of wishes and gems saved up from my previous attempts at pulling for characters. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but before I get into it, I just wanted to show you all what my luck has sort of been like, because I got this one friend that uh, sort of gives me crap for having some, like, good luck or whatever. So, if you can see here, this is my account and all of my wishes that I've had. Um, and as you can see here, I don't have that many five stars. I only have... Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this doesn't count because I just got a duplicate here. But so I only have nine five stars. The thing to take note of is sort of like my, I guess my luckiness in terms of like my pulls and whatever. I guess the one thing for my five stars, I've gotten ten total pulls and I guess I've won half of my 50-50s. So it's literally been like a 50-50 ch ch like a 50-50 shot for me. Um apparently my pity average is 43.4 so I guess I have odds at high odds of getting a 5 star within like 40 pulls or so. Um but yeah, so like this is look at some of my luckier pulls. Um I pulled Ayaka which was my first uh ever 5 star. Uh, which is only 31 wishes. Um, I think this was... This is at a point where I was basically playing the game on and off. Like, I didn't really invest a lot of time into the game. I, like, I, I started the game, like, right when it launched, but I never really um, put too much time into it. And I think it's probably because the game didn't have crossplay at the start, so I was hopping between accounts or like i was hopping between accounts and i was hopping between uh things and whatever so but yeah so ayaka was my first ever five star um and that was the 50 50 that i won kaedahara kazuha this was closer this is like on the end the further end of like the pity system but i was another 50 50 that i won yoimiya again on the lower on the higher end of the 50 50 and I won that. Zhang Li is to date my luckiest five star 50 50 pull that I've won because I got him at 13, which is kind of funny because I like 13 by Kingdom Hearts Obsession. So I got that. And then, um, you know, I had Kaching at 36, Sino at 78. Sino was when Sino came out, this is the character that stopped me from being a free-to-play character or free-to-play account uh because this is the time when i spent money on the game um but then this was after because like after i had spent all of my primo gems pulling for sino um i didn't buy any more and then i just used all of the free ones that i got and then i end up getting a 50 50 win for sino uh with only 27 pulls in and uh that was yeah, so that was pretty wild. And then Chi Chi, you know, everyone memes on getting Chi Chi. Um, I never had her. And then, but I was 56 pulls in. Nahida, I pulled in 40. Uh, so that was cool. 
but this was this this one this is my most recent one and i haven't done any more pulls on like the main banners after this because after i got nahida i pulled a tainari three like this was like three pulls after i pulled nahida i pulled tainari so yeah that was that was that was a really good sort of banner and that was like the last time i've done any pulls and then no uh, as you can see down here like i'm technically in the top five percent of like lucky five stars and apparently i'm in the bottom 40 percent of lucky is four stars uh but this is going to be kind of important for what we're doing today um because uh and then just to show you what my uh pity looks like right now and it kind of showed it earlier but i didn't really mention it is so yeah i pulled tainari and uh nahida on the same 10 pull so that was cool but no so i have only like four pity on this set and here's what we're doing today this is going to be like a little bit interesting i am going to be going for pulls not for the five star not for a child i'm pulling for layla and basically my hope what i'm trying to do is I am trying to get Layla before I pull, before I get child. And be, the only reason why I'm doing this is because I want Layla as like my new character, even though I don't have child, I want Layla, but I want to save my, cause I have a guaranteed five star, um, because I lost my 50, 50 ty to Tainari, that three pull, that lucky three pull. Um, and then. I want to save that 50-50 uh, win for when the Wanderer Scaramouche comes out um, in 3.3. But I have to go through this to get to Layla. So we're just going to be pulling. We're going to see if we can get lucky and pull Layla. Um, the problem is she's not guaranteed at all. So I could go through all of my Primo gems and all of my baits that I have saved up. And I might end up getting child before I get Layla uh, with how this turns out. So uh, I'm going to stop talking. I've been talking too much already. So we're just going to go ahead and do our first pull. That's 10. So what do we get? All right. So I have a four star pity in four. So, that's that, that, I got another Kuki Shinobu, I don't know what I have for it, I think I have, I think I have Kuki Shinobu at like C4, so that might be a C5 Kuki Shinobu, I'll have to check that later, okay, enough, nothing, another debate club, nope, another Black Tassel, okay. All right, so that's 10 pulls in, 14 pity, and no Layla. So now we gotta do another pull. Let's see what we get. All right. Nope. Not it. Not it. <gasps> Let's go. How many was that? That, uh, see. <laughs> I was honestly not expecting, I was honestly not expecting for this to come in this early. Like, I wasn't expecting her to come home this early. Like, I was legitimately thinking that I was gonna pull Child before I got her. But, you know, I'll take that. Now, I'm debating on whether I want to push my luck and go for her constellations so let's can i i just want to check her okay so cool we got we we got the girl so that was only what 20 pulls in yeah i think that was only like 20 pulls in i don't think the history updates yeah so the update the history is not going to update anytime soon so I believe I'm only 20 pulls in. I want to go... 
I'll do two more pulls and then I'll stop because I do want to try and push my luck and see if I could a get more of Layla and also push my pity going into Skyrimoosh. So 30. Cool. So he didn't get a gold. Oh, another Toma. Okay, not bad. All right. Oh, well, okay. All right. So this is gonna be my last pulls, and then I'm and I have one pull left. go oh let's go i got another layla wow dude i was not expecting to actually get layla oh not i wasn't saying that i wasn't expect not expecting but like i didn't have my hopes up for it you know what i don't want to push my luck but i have enough for another 10 pull I kind of want to try for another Layla and pray that I don't actually pull child. All right, please don't. It's okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Imagine, imagine being the only person hoping that you don't get a five star. And then I got another Toma. Come on, give me, give me a another Layla. Come on. Oh, well, I got I got another rust. That's actually good for cuz I had I think I have like a R2 rust now. We have a C1 late. Okay, so let's check our console. <gasps> oh, I have I have a C6. This is my first C6 character. Okay, so let's look at this before I actually just drop it. Um, Makuki will be my first, uh, C6 non-traveler character. That'll be cool. Okay, so when Kuki Shinobu takes lethal damage, this instance of damage will not take her down. This effect will automatically trigger when her HP reaches 1 and will trigger once every 60 seconds. When Shinobi, Shinobu's HP drops below 25%, she will gain 100%. 50 elemental mastery for 15 seconds this effect will trigger once so she basically just gets second chance she gets second chance with her c6 cool that's that's dope well i got my first c6 character meanwhile candace is sitting at c4 um got a c1 dory okay cool and then I got C1 Layla. Let's go. I got C1 Layla and I didn't burn my guaranteed 5 star. Let's go. And Thomas. Oh wait, no. Thomas is going to be C3. Even though I don't use Thomas at all. Maybe I have to start using him. Thomas is another shield character. And like, yeah, Kuki Shinobu, my first C6 character. Alright, well... We got what we came for. So, we got Layla C6. <laughs> what am I saying? We didn't get Layla C6. I'm I'm losing it. We got Layla. We got Layla and we didn't burn I applied for vacation. Our You remember too, right? So we got Layla. We didn't burn our free 50 or you didn't burn our 50 50 win oh okay. i think i'm gonna give her the sky rider sword because i think okay that yeah this has elemental recharge yeah so she'll probably she'll probably get this and then why don't we just uh refine this r4 and r5 in blues i love to see it this is the this is the free to, this is, even though I'm not technically free to play, this is the free to play experience, is, like, R5-ing blues. There she go. There she go. 
I have now I have to look up how to really build her. I'm trying to figure out what team. I'm thinking I could do something with Candid or well, I can bring the I can bring the freeze back with Candace's ult and yeah, so maybe Candace's ult and her ult and then use her shield for some sort of resistance and then just keep the hyper bloom going. I have no idea if that's actually feasible. Uh, also, let's figure out what material she needs. Uh... <laughs> um, if you all have absolute, you all have absolutely no idea why I just like gasped. Her birthday is my birthday. <laughs> we have the same birthday. Oh my goodness. How did they pick this? How did they pick this character? Oh, okay, this is completely... That was completely unscripted. Um, I had no idea that her birthday was 1219. <laughs> okay, well, now I actually have to main this character. Like, I think... I think if you share a birthday with the character, you're, like, automatically required to main that character. Alright, well, I think that's a good place. We'll call- we'll call this video here. Yeah, that was quite a- that was quite a surprise. We got our character, we got Layla C1. And we still didn't burn our- we didn't burn our guaranteed 5-star fully for her, so that's great. I feel like I'm gonna have fun messing around with Layla's character. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It's a little bit different from one of my videos that I've posted before, so hopefully this comes out pretty well. My um, legs are so sore. I did also- <sighs> Unrelated note, pick up Pokemon Violet, Again. which I'm going to be streaming, and will be posting my sort of like Let's Play um, experience of the game, so maybe look out for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos. And as always, this is Chris, and I'll see you later. Oh, and just so so I'm re-recording this after I've finished the recording, but I just thought I would do this for my receipts. So let's just run this back. This is Layla. This is her birthday, 1219. This is my character. Birthday 1219. I didn't put in a fake birthday. That's literally my birthday. So yeah. We share the same birthday. Let's go.